Hey everybody, I hope you're all keeping good. Uh, today we're going to have just a quick look at applying a tire dressing, the likes of a tire gel or a tire cream, um, in a way that it doesn't sling up the side of the car the next time you, you drive the car. So it's a common, it's a lot more common problem that you think a lot of people don't like using gels or creams or that type of tire dressing for the very reason that it does tend to sling up the side of the car. So what I'm gonna do is a very quick video on how to apply that dressing correctly so that you don't get that sling up the side of the car. So the first thing we're going to look at is um, the tire itself so you can see this is the the part that you're going to put your tire dressing on um, and when it comes to getting sling um, up the side of the car the main problem part are these grooves here on the tire. So the, this part, the, the actual flat sidewall, say, of the tyre, you can generally put the dressing onto that part of the tyre and not have any issues whatsoever with sling once you don't absolutely cake it on, once you put a nice light layer, a nice light even layer on that part of the tyre. Where you run into problems is when the dressing gets caught in the grooves of this. Now, to get a nice looking sidewall, you generally do need to get dressing to as far as you can see so you're probably going to want to put dressing onto maybe up that far on the tire so it is very easy to get dressing stuck in these parts and I'll just do a quick demonstration and show you now how that happens so uh, this is the dressing that I'm applying today it's ADBL tire dressing so it's a it's a gel like um, dressing um, from ADBL and I use generally what I use is just one of these um, foam sponges to apply the dressing so let's just give it a quick application and what we'll do then we'll zoom in and show you the downfalls then so we've put our dressing on you can see it is a, a nice gel, elastic gel so i'm just going to apply it and as as tidy as you can try to be with it so i'm just doing it mainly on the sidewall of the tire there and I'm going to just, again, like that part that I said that you want to, because it's visible, you want to have the tire looking good the whole way around. So that's the dressing applied. Now let's have a closer look and see how this is now going to sling. So you can see the sidewall here is nice and blackened and it blackened into where you know, the, 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 you can see with the eye. But in those grooves that I was talking about, you can see little builds up, little build ups of the gel in those grooves. So the minute you drive this car out the road, those grooves are going to sling all the contents of the gel up onto the side of the rest of the car which is going to make it look terrible and um, so just say for example a customer collects this car and um, after dressing his tires the paintwork is polished and ceramic coated um, but by the time the customer gets this car home we have sling up the side of it and the problem with these dressings because it's a gel any dust and dirt that um, you come across while you're driving really sticks to the gel on the car. While it normally wouldn't stick to the side of the car in general, when there's a, a wet gel on the surface, then it shows up even twice as bad. So by the time the customer gets home, the car looks terrible. So how do you stop this? So one handy way to stop that happening is when you're applying the gel, rather than moving the sponge in that direction where those grooves are grabbing the gel from the sponge and drawing it into the grooves apply your dressing in straight lines like that with the grooves in the same direction of the grooves and that stops the build up in the actual grooves themselves it'll take a little bit longer to do it that way but it's going to stop um, the sling which is exactly what we need if you do end up getting uh, build up of gel of, of the dressing in these grooves again the same thing just use the edge of the sponge in each groove around the tire and it will remove the excess 
and the job done. So personally, I've always been a big fan of the tire gel type dressings. I like a nice, glossy, shiny tire. So from that point of view, um, I've been applying dresses for years like that, and I'm not. I, I don't get the issue of sling, and it's it's sometimes a surprise to me when so many people say that they suffer from um, tire sling from those type of products. But it is all down to how you apply it. It's not the product itself. It's it's how you apply it. The other one thing before I go that I will say, um, when you're washing the car, obviously before um, applying tire shine, make sure the tire is dry before you tie, uh, apply the tire dressing and make sure you clean it. So when you're using your wheel cleaner to clean the wheels and you clean everything, you know, you use your shampoo to clean your, your paintwork, the tires need to be cleaned also. If you have dirt in the tires that hasn't been cleaned properly, then the gel can't um, bond to the tire. It's just gonna sit on top of the dirt and fly off. So use a good tire cleaner. You can use, you, you know, your citrus pre-wash can be used on that. You can use an all-purpose cleaner. ADBL do a dedicated tire cleaner, which is absolutely excellent. Um, so there's various different products you can use, but just uh, I use a small detailing brush with ADBL tire cleaner, give it a bit of a scrub and power wash it off. And that will give your tire dressing um, a lot better surface to actually bond the, um, and it'll also help with the sling. So I hope this video has helped. Uh, if you know anybody else that it might help, either tag them or share them in it as well, it'd be appreciated. And uh, yeah. Hope everyone has a good day. Thanks very much for looking, guys. Cheers.